Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to discuss about alpha lattice design analysis using our software. Let's import my uh, data, which is uh, in the form of CSV and located in the desktop. And data name, my data name is W. Yes. Then after, uh, it is better uh, to change uh, into a factor. Let's first check the structure of our data by um, typing str then in the parentheses write your data name so our data, our data name in this case is w so submit this one as you can see here the treatment the blocks the replication as well as the grain yield are in the form of character integer integer and num uh, numeric uh, respectively so we must convert treatment block and replication from the character and integer into factor using the factor function. So to, to change into factor, first you have to write your data name, then attach uh, using the dollar sign the replication, then as you call this two, then you have to write the factor function, then under, under the parentheses, you have to write the data name and use the dollar sign to attach the replication. So do this uh, in similar way for the block as well as for the treatment. So let's check our data structure again. Yes, as you can see here, treatment, block, and replication are changed into factor. So uh, there are two methods of analysis of for alpha lattice design, and I will show you uh, each, uh, each methods one by one. So the first one you have to create, you have to use a function of analysis of variance, then it's followed by the response variable, in our case, the response variable is the gradient, then it's explained by replication plus treatment plus replication within the block, and finally you have to indicate the data name. So, in our case, the data name is W, then response variable is the gradient, the replication is rep, the treatment is designated by TRT, and again, the block as well as the interaction of block and uh, replication should be write in this form and finally indicate your data name and over here you can assign any name that you want so type this and submit to our studio then in order to see the ANOVA or the analysis of parents you have to use the summary function and write the name that you get here so type this and submit to our studio as you can see here, the sort of variation for the alpha lattice design is a replication treatment and the um, replication as well as uh, in the block, then finally the error or residual. So over here, the treatment is a statistically significant difference, so we have to go for what is the for mean uh, separation. So in order to carry out the mean separation, the recorded package is mandatory so you have to incorporate or you have to submit by uh, this way then there are a number of mean separation as all of you know that the first one is the uh, um, honest significance difference the least significance difference the can multiple test and finally the shifty so uh, over here in order to use this uh, HSD or the honest significance difference so you have to use the hsd.test function, then open bracket, and then under the bracket, you have to indicate your model. So our model in this case is LATS, then it's followed by under quotation the treatment, maybe it's genotype for you. Then you can also set alpha level which equals to 0 0.05, then console which equals to true. So this will be for the honest significance uh, difference. So as you can see, in the console part, the mean separation was carried out in this form. Then after, if you want to do for the least significance difference, all the codes are similar, so just uh, only change the function. So for carrying out the least significance difference, you have to use the lsd.test function, then all things are similar, then run. So you can get the mean separation for the least significance difference in this way. Similarly, you can uh, do for the Duncan multiple run test using the function Duncan.test. All the things are similar. 
So type this and submit your CV so you can uh, use the means parish technique Duncan uh, multiple training tests using the Duncan test. Do uh, for Shifi also using the Shifi test, uh, test function, then write all things that uh, you uh, did for the honest significance difference, uh, less significance difference, and Duncan test. So submit this, then you'll get the result. Then coming to the second method of uh, analysis alpha uh, for carrying out analysis of alpha lattice design, you have to use the uh, PIB.test function. So uh, you have to write this function, then immediately you have to indicate the block by touching for your data using the dollar sign and followed by the treatment, followed by the replication, then finally the response variable. So in our case, the response variable is granule. And again, also here is certain. Certain means Coming to our data, our data uh, contain 182 observation. So if we divide 182 divided by two replications, so we may have 91 treatments. Then since our block uh, uh, size is around, I think it's around seven. So if we divide 91 to uh, seven, so we get 13. So you have to decay and this way 13 here and the method here is I use the restriction maximum likelihood and the mean separation of the test method is the least significant difference alpha is 0 0.05 then all uh, control is equal to true then group is equal to true so this will be display uh, this result yes so even you can also change from uh, the restriction maximum likelihood to the variance component. So under this and under second condition, all things are similar to that of one, but the methods here is the variance component. Over here is the restriction maximum likelihood. So type this and submit to our studio. You can get uh, as a result for the alpha analysis, alpha analysis uh, using the PIB uh, dot test function. So this is all about today's tutorial. As usual, if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through my email as well as a YouTube comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.